What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be tying an ultra realistic minnow pattern. This is a mini mustache minnow. If you haven't seen my mustache minnow video, be sure to check that out. I'll put a link in the description. This is the mini version for fish that are more finicky or for smaller fish like bluegill and other panfish. So to get started, we're going to be using a 1 64th ounce jig head. I've mashed that down so that it's flat so that we can add eyes at the end. I'm not sure what color eyes I'm going to put on this, so I'm going to decide after we're done tying it. For the thread on this one, I'm going to be using a 6 aught white uni thread. We're going to start that thread behind the head and take it down to the point of the hook. For the tail, we're going to be using a single white marabou feather. I've pulled some of the fibers out to make it a little more sparse to match the size of the hook we're using. We're going to measure that out so that the tail is about the length of the entire hook. Once you've got the right length, you can pinch that in on the hook and then just give that a few tight wraps of thread to make sure it stays in place and it's held down tight. Once you get a few tight wraps, you can let go of the feather and tie it up the rest of the way to the head. And once you get the butt end up to the head, you can clip it off. Then just go over the little fluffy pieces that are left behind by the feather as you bring your thread back down to the tail. For the body, we're going to be using some pearl UV ice dub. So we're just going to take a little clump of that and stack the fibers. Just take those fibers in your finger, pull them apart, and put them back together as straight as you can. Just keep doing that until they're a little difficult to pull apart. And because these fibers are pretty long, we're going to cut these in half for this pattern. Make sure you keep track of the half that falls on the desk. Now to tie this in, we're going to create a dubbing loop. So we're just going to put our finger about six inches down on the thread, pull it up, and then continue wrapping. And this will just create a nice little loop of thread that you can stick dubbing into. So just pull that dubbing loop up with a couple fingers, and you can slide half of those ice dub fibers in there. And you want to place them in so that half of the fibers are on either side. And you can take the other half and put those in as well, the same way. And now you want to spread the fibers out so that they won't be super thick and they won't be super sparse. You just want them to spread almost about the length of the dubbing loop. And then if you have a spinning tool, you can use that. Otherwise, just carefully use your fingers to twist this dubbing around. Just the bottom of the loop, you just twist that between your fingers. Just do that until you have a nice coil of dubbing that looks like this. And be very careful not to let go of this because then the dubbing could fall out or you'd have to retwist it. And now we're going to carefully start wrapping this up the body. If you have a rotary function on your vise, I definitely recommend using that so you don't lose control of the dubbing loop. And we're just going to wrap this so that we have a nice even coating of dubbing across the whole body. Just keep going until you get up to the head. And once you're there, you can wrap off that dubbing loop with your thread. Just keep it really tight, give it four or five good turns to keep it held down, and then you can clip off the rest of that loop. Now we're going to use a little piece of velcro and just brush through that body to tease these fibers out a bit. Once you've gone over the whole body with the velcro, you can just pull the fibers back and do a few wraps of thread to make sure that they stay back. Now to finish the body, we're going to be using some Bruiser Blend Junior. This one is Braff Brown. I don't know if they misspelled that, but that's what it's called. We're just going to take a little clump of that, stack it just like you did with the ice dub, and then we want to place that so that about half the fibers go back on the body and half are in front on the head. You want it to sit right on top of the jig, do a really loose wrap of thread to make sure it stays in place, Then you can do a couple more wraps once you're sure that it's in place. For the bottom, we're going to be using the Bruiser Blend Junior in cream. We want to take a clump of that similar size as the other one and tie it in the same way so that half the fibers go back over the jig and half go over the top. Again, super loose wrap of thread and then you can do a couple tighter wraps once it's in place. And now we're going to spread these fibers out and press them down so that they cover the entire jig. Instead of just being on the top and bottom, we want them to be on the sides as well and we want them to meet in the middle. So just adjust them accordingly. And once those fibers are spread out around the jig, we're going to take the top ones, pull them all the way back, and then do a wrap of thread in front of those. Then we're going to flip it over to the cream, pull those back and do the same thing. 
Now we're gonna flip it over, pull all the fibers back, and do one wrap of thread over those fibers to make sure they stayed pressed back. Just like that. And then bring our thread back in front of those fibers. And as you can see, that presses all those fibers back. Now we're gonna whip finish. Four or five turn whip finish here. Do this very carefully. Take your time. Pull your thread tight. And then you can cut the thread. Now we're gonna pull those fibers back again and then get a comb tool and comb through that body. I wanna go over all those bruiser blend fibers. And now we're gonna select the eyes. So I've compared a few and I think I like the silver. So we're just gonna put a two millimeter silver eye. Put a dab of glue and place it on there. Straighten that out. Now the other side, place a little drop of glue. Put the other eye. And you can use your bodkin if you need to fine tune to get it right in the middle. There we go. So that is the completed jig. As you can see, very nice baitfish profile. It has a nice wispy tail. And if you've seen the mustache minnow video, you know that it looks cool now. But once we get it wet, that's when the real magic happens. So let me get it wet and show you what it looks like. So take a look at that. You can see the full-on baitfish profile now. It has a nice darker color on top and a white belly just like a baitfish. And then the ice dub gives it those bluish veins. So this jig, as you can imagine, absolutely kills. The fish cannot resist it because of how realistic and lifelike it looks in the water. This one can be a little bit difficult to try, but as you practice, you'll get good at it and it will start to look incredible. You'll be happy you took the time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Hope you have a great day.